Yeah, though, man. Yeah, though. Steven Nair, the streets. Charleston Black. Hassan Ramble. Whatever LS you want to call me. You know what I mean? We got a juicy one right here. We got we got one. We got a we got one. I always see, you know, I search the internet, I see these little beasts behind all these little rappers that I don't even be knowing who they is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I ain't gonna report the news. I ain't even gonna look into this. It's always some little rappers beefing all the time. But this particular beef is is I like this. I ain't gonna say I like this because I don't like to see young black men going at it with potential of violence. But as far as a YouTuber needing content Needing to put something in the thumbnail that's going to get people fired up. This is a good one. So, young boy and Bobby Smurder going at it. Two young uh, niggas that's really about that life. You know what I'm saying? And the way real niggas be, you know, I can only imagine NBA young boy kind of from afar probably look at Bobby Smurder like, that nigga really stood on 10. GS9 and them really was getting, you know, really getting on niggas. And deep down inside, Bobby Smurder probably be like, you know, young boy, and he got in trouble for spinning when he first got on. And young boy, you know, his intensity and the way he be looking when he be talking, you know, nigga kind of take notice of that. So, you know, they kind of like probably hate each other, but secretly admire each other a little bit. That'd be the, that'd be the perfect combination for a cool little beef. It ain't got to spill out nowhere, but it's going to be a cool little beef. It's like, you know, like if you play a hoop game and you know the other nigga raw on that team, and then you know that you raw on your team, but y'all don't really guard each other. But then when a pick gets set and y'all get on each other, it's like, okay, nigga, I know you got game. You know I got game, nigga. This is what everybody really came for type shit. Uh, so Roddy Rebel said that Lil' Tim didn't have to shoot King Von. See, I be, I'm beginning to think these niggas just be saying shit for, um, they just be saying shit for like views. And to get shit started because Roddy Rebel, you know damn well it's 30 niggas jumping one nigga that got guns on them. You're not fit to whip out and be like, hey, y'all stop doing that. Because there's too many niggas you gotta keep you. You telling them watch y'all y'all stop doing that. It's 30 niggas with potential to whip out. If it's like two people, three people, you can say y'all stop doing that and you can keep your eye on everybody. But when it's like King Vine had like 30 people with him. I can't risk it. They already own him. Shots got to be fired. Not in the air. Into somebody to defuse the situation. Y'all know how this shit go. Bunch of real niggas with guns. Nigga, I swear. I, nigga, if Lil' Tim would have whipped out and been like, y'all stop. That nigga would have got turned into Swiss cheese. You know what I'm saying? Um, But uh, he said that. And then NBA young boy chimed in like, yeah, nigga. Niggas tripping, man. Niggas is basically saying what I just said. Man, niggas ain't fit to just, you know what I'm saying, whip out no gun and tell people to calm down, nigga. You know what you would have did if you was in that situation, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Then Bobby Smurder came back out saying whatever he said. I think Bobby Smurder said some shit like, you know, this back and forth internet shit they be doing. I think Bobby Smurder said some shit like, Start speaking on your brother and speak on what you did and whoop, 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 whoop. And he did that passive aggressive shit, you know. Where he didn't, didn't call no names, but you know that passive aggressive, that passive aggressive uh, way of communicating. That's like the new wave now. That's why when people passively aggressively say stuff to me, and I know they're talking about me, I listen with an intent, like I know they're talking to me. And midway through the conversation, they, you could tell that they kind of get a little nervous. Like if a nigga like, man, see, niggas that got on fatigue leather coats and black hats, man, them the type of niggas. And when they start talking like that, I, I be looking at them like. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me That passive aggressive shit So NBA young boy Call a spade a spade Look man You didn't put no address on that So I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put an address on that Towards me I got Don't worry about it Bobby I got that I'll put my address on that And I know you talking to me The timing and everything We not gonna play You know what I'm saying So he Talk shit about Bobby Smurder Told him to do some shows Stop the, Just the typical young boy Looking into the camera, looking all crazy, talking shit type shit. So then Bobby Smurder come back like, I'm a boom. I don't know why he want to boom academics. I don't know why he want to boom uh, whack 100. I got to look into that. But he said, young boy, when I see you, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. You know what I'm saying? Just some little internet beef between two interesting characters. Because, you know, Bobby Smurder a character too. 
And then, you know, like when Bobby Smurda went down, he went down for multiple shootings and all that. So they both real niggas. You know what I'm saying? I got, they both some real niggas. I ain't going to lie about none of that. You know, so it's, I just hope it don't spill over into no crazy ass shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's just all on internet entertainment and it'll die down like all this little shit be going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I hear people chiming in like, well, you know, Bobby Smurder don't do a lot of numbers like Young Boy and, uh, and you know, that's true. But as far as real niggas in the game, they tied up. As far as real niggas in the rap game, they are tied with each other. And see, real recognize real, so they know that. NBA Young Boy know that. Uh, Bobby Smurder know that. They seeing neck and neck as far as this real shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as this street shit. Yeah, we put out a lot of music, but as far as in these streets, they kind of, you know, BR Brooklyn. BR, BR, you know what I'm saying? Basically, and uh, if I was Bobby, see, this where you, this where you, see, this where you kill a man. I'm going to tag you in this, Bobby, and he's from probably something you already thought of. Bobby, do a song with Lil Durk. That'll help your career and that'll help the beef. And y'all know how y'all do. Like when Pooh Shiesty and Lil Durk got on a song together, you know what I'm saying? To, to kind of like send a message to Quano Rondo. Bobby, call your managers. Call whoever you need to call. Set that shit up. Do a song with Lil Durk. You know what I mean? That now that'll add some fuel to this shit. That'll that'll add some. Y'all have me making another YouTube video. You know what I mean? I need content. I need shit to talk about. Half the shit I talk about, I really don't care. I, I can't wait till my subscribers get all the way up so I can talk about shit that's dear to me. But I'm a YouTuber on the rise. And this the shit I gotta do. I gotta serve y'all the news. And it's quite entertaining. I'm not gonna lie. It's fun being a YouTuber, getting on here talking my shit. Before I go hit the weights, you know what I'm saying? I'm always in front of the weight room. You know what I'm saying? For niggas that be wanting to know where I'm at. You know what I mean? You can't really see right there. So that was that was futile. But uh, yeah, man. NBA Young Boy and Bobby Smarter, man. It's the new one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check it out. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's like uh, Luca first Ja Moran or something. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But y'all, y'all like, share, subscribe. Two real niggas going at it, man. Y'all go do y'all y'all research, man. Check out what I'm talking about.